Feel that. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome to my show. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, troublemakers? Um, again, I got something on my spirit. You know, when it's on my spirit, coming in. <laughs> you know, when something's on my spirit, I gotta, I gotta come to y'all and um, and just talk about it. Um, and I guess my topic today is like, am I the only one that feels like my parents me up? What I'm just noticing around me is just a lot of hurt. I'm noticing a lot of pain. I'm noticing a lot of uh, regret. And I'm noticing a lot of uh, distrust. And I'm noticing a lot of uh, 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 unresolved... Unresolved issues overall with, with the family and the family structure whether it be with mom or dad or both. And it's crazy. It's crazy sad to me. It's crazy sad because that's just not the way it's supposed to be. You know, I look back at, you know, we see images like, you know, the Cosby show and we see images like Family Matters and stuff like that. And um, that wasn't reality. That wasn't many, that wasn't many of our realities. It was a goal. It was a dream. It was an aspiration. That's why it was so, it was so magical. It was so like, wow, is that what we're supposed to be like? A loving, caring family who is there for each other through thick and thin, good or bad? Is that what we're supposed to be like? Because that's not, that's not what many of us saw, unfortunately, you know? And as I get older, you know, I start to, I start to come to terms, I guess, with things. And and I start to understand things and look at things a little bit differently because I'm an adult. You know, when you're a child, you see things as a child, but as an adult, you see things as an adult. And though I look back and I can say, you know, everybody that knows me knows my dad doesn't like me, has said that he doesn't like me publicly, has shown he doesn't like me. The managers don't like me. <laughs> um, and I, that used to hurt me. Maybe it's because I wasn't the son he expected, or maybe it was because many things. Maybe, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know if I'll ever have that conversation. And, and, I'm, and I'm open to having it, but, you know, that's another story. But I look back at some of my childhood stuff and some of my friends' childhood stuff and some of my cousins' childhood stuff, and it's like, the parents back then... Like, what was y'all thinking? Like, I feel like the parents, you know, I'm an 80s baby. And I feel like the parents then, like, they didn't show love. They didn't show affection through touch. It was like, we were supposed to just know I loved you. We were supposed to just know you care about me. We were just supposed to know I'm here for you because, you know, you have this roof over your head and you got food in your stomach. But that's not, that's not enough. That doesn't make a kid feel secure. It doesn't make a child feel safe. It doesn't make a child, it doesn't help a child understand what a loving touch is, what a loving embrace is, what 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 real love is supposed to feel like, how they're supposed to emulate love in their lives. We didn't see that. We didn't see mom and dad hug and kiss and, and say, baby, I love you. I can't wait till you get home from work. That was on TV, but but why? Why was it just on TV? Why was it just on TV? Why, why, why didn't why were families always eating dinner together and, and and showing up for each other and showing out for each other and supporting each other? Why was that just on TV? Why was that not in real life? In real life, we were especially in the black community, we're so easy to tear each other down and talk about each other and beat each other down and and tell your kids you ain't this and you ain't that and, and you're just like your father or you're just like your mother or your mother ain't this or your dad ain't that or mom or dad isn't even there and 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 and, and then we grow up these kids grow up and 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 we have deficiencies we don't know how to love right. 
We don't know how to touch properly. Some of us can't even really truly embrace people without feeling weird. And that's crazy. That's probably one of the reasons why I don't like, I, I personally don't like to be touched as it is. Because I, and I clearly remember when I was younger, I used to try to, I used to, I used to try to lay on my mom. I would lay on her leg or something. She'd be like, oh, try get off of me. Stop, get off of me. She would tell me and my brother all the time, oh, just get off of me, get off of me. And to me, that told me, you're allowed to love somebody, but you're not allowed to show it too much or say it too much. That's that's what I learned from the, those situations. And that's not how it's supposed to be. That's not how, that's not what love is supposed to be like. You're supposed to feel it and show it and say it and express it, not just know that it's there like it's some omniscient thing like it's just some 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 entity that's floating around no love is an action word you know and 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 our families you know and the black family especially where is the love where did the love go where did the love go I just don't, I don't know. I don't know where I went. Like, why weren't we told we're proud of you more? And you're exceptional. And and, and you're, you're great at what you do. And keep going. Keep, like, 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 I feel like parents now are saying that, you know, working in the education system, working in the education system, I, I see parents saying that now, but I'm looking at people my age or people around my age bracket and, you know, they have mothers and fathers that, you know, were in the streets for drugs or they were in jail or, or you know, they just weren't there. And those kids have grown up to be mad and angry and, and resentful. And, and no matter what you do, you still have a, 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 a mustard seed of just upsettedness and that's not even a word but you know you're, you're uh, it's like it's, it's a little piece of you that's broken because of that and then you have kids like me that did have both of their parents around but never felt fully loved never was cradled and and held and 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 made feel made to feel safe to, to cry and made to feel safe to emote and made to feel safe to share their thoughts and their feelings. You were just supposed to be a kid and stay in your place and listen. And whatever the parents say goes. And and that's just not right. Sometimes it's just. I really feel like I feel like I feel like parents mess up. And maybe it's because they didn't know how to love. They didn't know how to hold. They didn't know how to caress. They didn't know how to make better. They didn't know how to build up. They didn't know how to do many things. And so they just didn't do it. Instead of learning or trying or working through feeling icky or working through feeling weird, they just didn't do it. And them not doing those things, it affects us. It affected us and still affects many of us. And then we grow up and we try to get into relationships or try to create these relationships as adults. And we find ourselves subconsciously repeating stuff. We find ourselves doing things in effect of what we didn't have growing up. And it's messed up. Yeah, I just, I just had to get off my chest, like... Parenting doesn't come with a handbook. No one knows how to do it the right way. But I really wish that our parents would have taken the time to notice what they were doing or, or, or notice that their lack of was affecting or having an effect on what could be our future. And it really takes a person like myself to grow up and know, okay, because this was like this, I need to be like that. And because that was said like that and I didn't like that and it made me feel like that, I need to do it like that. And because uh, I didn't receive this 
and this was told, said, I'm not going to be given to you. I'm going to give that. You have to be cognizant and you have to be aware of, uh, of what you were lacking and what you didn't get and try to be better then so that you don't perpetuate the same cycle in your love life and your, and your friendships and your everyday interaction with people because then the loveless, careless, touchless cycle continues. And then you end up being fucked up with somebody else. But ain't nobody got time for that. We got to do better. And even if we didn't get what we needed as a kid and we didn't get the love and the nurturing that we needed, we got to find the love within ourselves. We have to, we have to find a way to repair those broken things within ourselves. We have to find a way to move past the hurt and pain for ourselves so that we can be better people in our lives now and better people for the people that are in our lives now and better people for the people that are going to be in our lives in the future. Our parents may have been on some, but that doesn't mean that we have to. Yeah, that's just my thought. Anyways, um, I decided to get off my chest. Um, remember to live, laugh, and love, 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 love. Love is an action word, so get out there and love. Show it, feel it, give it. And um, with that, that's it. Peace. <laughs>